Welcome back to the Rhubarb and Burble YouTube channel. As you can no doubt tell from the video title, this is a 12 months worth unboxing of Spotlight Stationery boxes. Um, I've been had a very busy year, and those of you who know me will know that very recently, um, I've been even busier than normal, but I thought 12 months would be a good point in which to actually go back, unbox these for you, and give you an opportunity to see what's inside, to see if it's something you might want to subscribe to. Um, I'll put all the details of all the um, subscription in the description box below for you. But essentially, uh, it, it's a quite high-end subscription box, so it's £27 per box. This is uh, in the UK. Um, and you get pretty high-end um, items such as, you know, notebooks, pens and other bits and pieces. But I will probably rattle through this quite quickly, otherwise we're going to end up with quite a long video. So I'm going to start with um, July 2021, going right through to um, June 2022, which literally just arrived today. So hopefully uh, you will enjoy this. So let's get started. Right, let's start with July. Move these out of the way a bit. So, let's have a look at the theme. This month's theme was Wales. And I'm not going to look too closely, just to see if we can use that for reference in a minute. So, okay, so we get the envelope with, uh, which is personalised with my name, and then a piece of postcards inside, as usual. So, here we go, we've got some donuts. Oops, and a nice little bird pattern. Some sort of um, electronic type. Not quite sure what it's meant to be, but there we are. You can see it for yourself. And then a pattern with some cupcakes. What I'll do is all of these um, illustrators, I'll leave all their details below. Um, and I'll probably put something on Instagram, so I'll um, link to their Instagram um, profiles as well. So that's those. I can see we've got this book here, which is a Dingbats, looks like A6, thread-bound notebook with whale debossing. So that's why this is the whale theme. Um, squared pages and a pocket on cream paper. And there's the details there if you want to learn more. That's nice, it's a nice, I'm not sure if it's real leather or faux leather, but um, it's certainly a very, very good quality book. And then we've got some, what look like, probably paper clips, again with a whale design. Um, oh, here we go. Yes, so each, it's sort of like an antique brass um, how many do you get in there? Does it say? No, I'm not going to go count them, but there's, you know, you can see there's quite a few in there. So that's the uh, paper clips, and then we've got some pens. So we have got a, what's that say? It's under the label. Can't read what the make is. Bear with me. Oh, it's Papermate. Papermate Flare Medium. So that's what that is a felt tip. And quickly. Yeah, so that's what that looks like. And 
and then we've got oh another of these I love these these are the Enagel by Pentel these are excellent pens yeah so it's just a nice gel pen um, we've got a gold one here this is the oh which make is it pilot that's right it's a nice gold pen again I think it's a gel pen that writes really nicely you see there oh what's this this is a, a um, mechanical pencil graph gear 300 by Pentel so there's the let's look a bit closer there you go there's the tip and that clicks and slides back that's really nice, that's really got a really good weight to it. Really nice quality. And then we have Pentel Click Eraser. Oh, okay, I've not seen one of these before. So presumably, oh, look at this. So the razor comes out here. And hopefully it'll slide back okay. Yeah, that slides back nicely. Oh, I've not seen that anything like that before. Love that, brilliant. Excellent, so that is the June, sorry, July 21 box. So dingbats, notebook, paper clips, various pens and the postcards. Lovely, love that box. So let's pop those away and make sure they stay in the right box. So that's July. Right, let's now move to the August box. Should have pre-opened these, shouldn't I? Okay, come on. Come on. There we go. Right. Okay, so postcards. We have some little bird cages. Birds. That's a rather wild pattern here. Got some flowers. And again, some more mechanical objects there. Lovely. And the theme this month is Buchanan collection inspired by a tartan design okay oh I could all oh, look at this book ooh, ooh, ooh. that is gorgeous oh and that's a fabric love it Waverley Scotland tartan cloth commonplace notebook wow that's lovely so we've got 192 pages eight perforated end leaves an expandable end pocket a history of tartan leaflet a ribbon marker elastic closure uh, the left page is plain and the right page is ruled. Oh, that's lovely. There we go. You can see it through the, the wrappings. Oh, I love that. That is lovely. And the edges, look at the edges. They're all um, this sort of same red colour. Burgundy colour. Beautiful book. Oh, I love that. And then it looks like we've got some sort of card. And uh, from the National Museums of Scotland. Decoration from the Tree of Life. So that's a blank note card there, lovely, and we have four pens, oh we have, oh is that two Enagels, oh I love the Enagels, great, we've got green and yellow, wow let's see what these look like, take these little wax bits off the end, green and yellow, lovely okay and then we've got oops an orange pentel energel pen that's is that it's a different design this is a 0 0.7 i think these are 0.7 yeah those are as well so it's a different um barrel but um, it looks like it's the same sort of pen and then we've got the same in brown 
here. Wax off. Yeah, lovely. So all of these colours are very complementary to that notebook. Excellent. Brilliant. So let's just check we've got everything. Notebook pens, greetings card and postcards. Lovely. Absolutely love this book. Brilliant. Okay, so that is the month of August. Put these, put these off. There we go. Love that one. Right, September. Postcards. So we've got a very vibrant um, couple of ladies dancing, and another one in the same theme, and another one. Uh, what looks like some I don't know Peruvian people. I wonder what the theme could be. Have a look. Be bright. Well, that makes sense. Excellent. Right, let's see what we've got. Oh, that is a very bright notebook. So we have here a Legami Milano notebook, a plain notebook. Hundred and ninety-two number pages, ivory paper. Uh, is that yeah it's plain isn't it so yeah good for sketching and things and general journaling so that's a nice bright pink with a neon elastic strap on it uh, we've got wow we have got some bright pens here uh, we've got a um, highlighter have a look at it it's like that bright orange colour it might have dried up in fact it's been in the box for a year oh well there we go uh what's this oh this is a pencil with oh, so a koei noor pencil which has got all different colors at the end so as you use it it's going to change color yeah oh that's really cool i wiggle that around you can see how the colors are changing and then we've got a purple Zebra Sarasa clip pen, uh, 0 0.7 in a purple colour. Again, it's like a gel pen, probably. And we've got this green pen, British, sorry, not British, it says brush, brush sign pen. Who made that? Pentel. Yep, so we have a, a brush tip on that one. Again, I think it's a victim potentially of drying out a little bit. It's okay now. There we go. So, is there anything else? Oh, yes. We have what looks like a bookmark and a card. Again, very jazzy designs. And I'll share all of the details on the blog and on Instagram for these items. Brilliant. So, we have those two, the notebook postcards and the pens and that was be bright okay, October come on open up there we go the theme first this time we have got a theme of box of blues not too closely at the moment box of blues and we have postcards so we have this lady with all these sort of trees and things in her hair and 
another floral design. I'm not sure which way up that goes, that way I think. Florals. A whale, sort of icon style. And some sort of abstract in blues. Okay. Right, let's see what we've got. Okay, so we have that famous um, wave. Japan. Nice little card, it's quite a small card. Ooh, look at this. Oh, wow. Oh, look at that. That's beautiful. Castelli, Milano. It's a ruled notebook. Uh, I'm feeling through the um, wrapping, but it feels quite sort of like it's got a texture to it, like a linen-y sort of texture. 240 ruled pages, ivory paper, with an inner pocket and bookmark, elastic closure, pen loop. Brilliant. Love that. So that's like an, well, it's sort of A5, it's slightly smaller than A5, slightly narrower. And then we have some pens and a pencil, I think. Yeah. I think that's just, yeah, that's just the flyer. So see what we've got okay so we have got a zebra it's a 0.5 I'm not quite sure what the name of this pen is but it looks like it's a oh, yeah it's a gel pen so that's got a nib that looks like that we have a pilot pen this again looks like a gel pen that's a nice blue it's more like an Air Force blue very nice. I think it may even have a shimmer in it, has it? it? May even be slightly shimmery that one. Yeah, I think it's got a slight shimmer. It's hard to see on the camera. It's hard to see in real life to be fair as well. <laughs> um, another pilot pen. I'm not sure what this is called. Let's have a look. It's Pilot Super Gel, and that's a 0.7. And that's a like a bright blue. Yeah. And we have another of these. I've had one of these in the past, not in this colour. So metallic Stabilo Pen 68, I think it says in there. So this is a felt. Yeah, it's a nice metallic blue. I don't know if you can see the metallic. Um, see that changing And then we have a blue pencil. Um, doesn't say an actual shade name, but yep, that's a blue blue pencil. So that's all of the all of the um, pens and pencils. So that's lovely. Lots and lots of blue. Let's check we've got everything: a notebook, pens, pencil, greetings card, and postcards. Box of blues. Okay, right, now to November. Okay, and uh, this month's theme was cartography. Stationery showcasing the map maker's art. Love. Oh, look at this. Ooh. Three mini notebooks with vintage maps on. I love vintage maps. Blank lined and graph pages. Three notebooks, um, 96 pages each. And that's the Cavallini and Co. So there's three, three notebooks there with nice rounded edges. Oh, and here's the postcards. So we have a lion and some more whales, which technically should have gone in the other box, shouldn't they? Um, some llamas or alpacas, it's hard to tell the difference. And a ship. Ooh, 
Ooh, what have we got here? This looks exciting. Ex Libris, general map of the world, it says. 18 book plates. These book plates feature a striking vintage image from the Cavallini archives and are printed on acid-free adhesive paper. To personalise your library, simply peel off the backing and affix to any book. Oh, that's nice. Oh wow, look at these. I don't know if they're all the same, I think they are. Yes. So, yeah, there you go. And you can write your name at the bottom. You claim your book. Love those. Lovely. Um, pens at the end. We've got some stickers by the look of it. Yep. Yeah. So these are again map related. So I'll give a close up of those. Lovely. And we have a card which has got what well, opens out nicely. Greetings card. Um, that's actually a spotlight stationery card. So they're obviously producing their own items as well. The map of the world. Light card. Envelope's a little on the large side, to be fair, but uh, there you go. And we've got some pens, so let's get ready to try these out. We have uh, a Uniball Signo in 0.7. A nice blue colour. Another Uniball, this is Uniball Air in broad. So we have, yeah, a sort of felt tip, I think. Let's try that. Oh no, it's a sort of, oh, it's a gel pen, but it's, it's got a very strange looking nib. You can see it's got almost like triangular conical nib. And writes, it writes like a marker pen. So perhaps that's what it is. Perhaps it is a marker. I don't know if it's um, permanent doesn't say maybe a permanent marker and then we have another uniball signo um, looks like this might be silver yeah that's a silver color yeah that's a glittery one or a metallic one I should say and then we have a pencil which has got it says on it Ant Antarctic circle and then it's got some um, clocks from of times of Greenwich uh, of longitude uh, times of longitude. This is Greenwich, and the the clocks are Rio de Janeiro, Reykjavik, London, and Budapest. And that's got a rubber on the end. Excellent. So that is the cartography set. Brilliant. So we've got the greetings card, the cards, the stickers, the book plates. The map books with the maps on and all the pen pencils. Just check that's right. Yep, so that is November. Love that one. And now it's December. We're halfway through nearly. Right, the theme for December is Showcase 4, our end of year collection of stationery we think you'll love but which didn't quite fit in any of our previous themes of 2021. So this one will be a bit of a mishmash of things then. Okay, let's look at the postcards first. So we've got quite sort of autumnal um, postcard there with um, berries and leaves. We've got this cute little owl. And then we've got Wellingtons and watering cans. And then we've got what looks like raccoons, I think, and flowers. Very cute. Okay, what's this item then? Oh dear, what have we got here? Emot, ever fine. So these are presumably marker pens, and they, come, they seem to come in this yeah, they click into this little display stand. There we go, that stands up like that. 
and we've got these lovely colours, sort of earthy tones here, sort of watery and earth tones. Let's try those out, see what they're like. Let's try this brown. Let's see what the nib's like. They are very, very fine. They are 0.4. Oh, they are very fine. Very nice. Let's try a blue, let's try this aqua colour. Yeah. Oh, that's a nice bright blue. And they are Emot. I've not heard of that brand before. Emot, so if I just show you that. Start it way up would help, wouldn't it? There you go. Lovely. Any more pens? Let's do the pens while we're at it. Right, we have a pencil. It's a very, very, very big thick pencil here with a tri triangular barrel um, and it's a Milan Maxi Graphite in HB so there's the tip and the profile if you can see that if you can see that very well and I mean it's a pencil I don't know if I need to demonstrate it but it is very very thick there excellent okay and then we have a little notebook, which has got all these cute uh, book titles on. The Adventure Book for Girls, idea, Ideal Book for Girls, No Ordinary Girl. And that is, um, this is Flame Tree Notebook. I've not heard of Flame Tree. And then we've got, oh, it looks like a plain, plain page on one side and a line on the other. That's quite cute. Then we have this. I recognise this design. Sig Signoria. I'm not sure what's inside. Is it, little, is it little note cards, I think? Have a look at this. Are they lined envelopes or are they note? What are they? Okay, so yes, we've got beautiful lined envelopes. And then a matching card, which is obviously a blank card, notelet. Lovely. And we've got one, two, there's four. Is that right? One, four cards, and one, two, three, four, five envelopes for some reason. I counted them right. Yep, four cards and five envelopes. I guess they think you might mess an envelope up potentially, so they've put a spare one in. So I don't quite understand that. But there we go. And then we have got, what's this? Oh, a bookaroo pen pouch for notebooks and journals. Oh, I see. So you stretch it over your journal and then you can slot some pens and pencils in. That's a really good idea. That's, I don't know if that's real leather. Um, what does it say? It doesn't say actually. I presume it's faux leather then. But that's very nice, so let's try it. Let's take that out. Let's put the pen in. And the pencil maybe. There you go. And you can strap it to one of your books. There. Yeah. Very handy. I like that. And I do like a bit of pink, so that's not bad. Great. Put that back on for now. Brilliant. So let's see, is that everything? Yep. So a notebook, yep. Pens, writing set, pen pouch, pencil, and postcards. Lovely.
Right, so that was December. Now we are halfway through. Okay, I had a slight technical issue there. My camera battery ran out and um, it, was rec it wasn't recording, I didn't realise. So I've opened five boxes um, when it wasn't actually recording. So I'll very quickly just run back through those and then we can open the last box together. Okay, so this was January uh, 2022 and the theme was Whispers of Italy. Not Italian brands, but stationery with Italian connections. <clears throat> right, so <clears throat> we had some postcards. Let's quickly run through those. So there's these roses, uh, a crocodile, some penguins, and a cute little bear. And then we had a journal, which is the Medina Raylex Express Smarter Lean in Touch A5 ruled notebook and it has a sort of an Air Force Blue linen cover and that's a close-up of the details there so that's an A5 and then we have a po uh, bookmark which is well it's the, I think it's the birth of Phoenix of uh, Venus and um, it's a nice textured bookmark and then we have a little notebook a a6 notebook which is actually a spotlight stationery um, own brand with lined and plain on the same page I should open it up you can see the cover okay and then we have um, some pens and a pencil these two pens um, are the same make, it's a red and a black, and these are really good, I've had a black one of these before, and it's a nice fine liner, uh, I've got the uh, scribbles that I made over here, so that's those, and we've got this lovely green, it's a nice, I don't know, JD coloured green, and a uh, Medina pencil. So that was um, January. Very nice. And then February, this is my favorite month ever from Spotlight Stationery. <clears throat> the theme was traveling. Uh, we have postcards with a watering can of flowers, um, a monkey, uh, looks like a dove with some um, autumnal foliage and a tiger. And this is what it's all about. This is a traveller's journal, traveller's notebook. Really, really nice. I don't think it's real leather. Does it say on the... I didn't check that before. Yes, it's faux leather. But it's a traveller's notebook, so it opens up and has um, a zip pocket. It has three journal notebooks, a plain one, a bullet journal, and a lined one with um, cream paper. And then it has a little pocket at the end, a double pocket piece, and a flap there. And then it obviously has the edge, guard, um, edge protector there, the elastic, and I think that's absolutely lovely. It's a beautiful color. And yeah, can't wait to start using that one. Really wanted one of these for a long, long time. So I nearly bought one and luckily I didn't need to because I have this one now. So that's fab, really love that. Then we have um, a ruler and bookmark with some um, sticky notes here. And then we have some more pens and pencils. Again, I've drawn and scribbled with these. So we have a neon pink pilot pen. We have this fluoro yellow and graphite pencil, which is a triangular one. We have a Pilot B2P gel pen, which uh, writes in black. And we have a color on color twin pen. I have the full set of these, so this is actually a duplicate for me, but that's fine, they are really good pens. So it's got a double tip, blue and red. And then there's an eraser, a Nanlan eraser. So that is February, best notebook ever. 
brilliant. Okay, then we have March. And this was spring green. So, postcards. We had this jazzy one here. Little collection of houses. Another dove. And a fox. And we have this really nice green little notebook, pocket notebook. It's sort of green, sort of in between lime and olive. Uh, but it's uh, got a pocket on the front, elastic closure, and it's by Bookaroo. Um, so it's 192 pages, ivory paper, ribbon page marker, and it has eight perforated edges. So that's this one. I'll show you the details there. It's really nice, faux leather again. Then we had this little pin badge, which is a wooden pin badge with a fountain pen nib design. It's actually quite thick and substantial piece of wood. And it obviously has the little pin closure. That's by Story Graphic. Very nice. Then we have this notebook here, the owls on it, which is sort of nice aqua colours that I like. It's a little uh, lined, ruled notebook. So that's rather sweet. And then we have three pens. We have another Enagel pen here. We have a another Enagel pen by Pentel. I've had the black one of these and these are excellent pens too. And we also had this Bookaroo pen which has got a nice um, soft touch, almost like a rubber feel to it. Um, and again, that's a, ball, I think that's a ballpoint pen. Yeah, ballpoint pen, the clip. So that's really nice. And then that's what all the scribbles came out of. So various greens and the black. So that was a nice month too. Right, and then, fall down, there we go. April, we had geometry with the theme. Then we have some postcards. Again, geometry, geometric design. A girl with a cat. Some more birds. And a hair. Some of the design, designs of these are very similar, so I think they're probably the same artists. Um, so again, if I find out who the artists are, um, I shall put that on Instagram and on the blog too. Then we have this little notebook, which um, I did open this one because it's quite hard to see through. It is actually um, embroidered, so if you can see that, it's actually stitched. She comes through on the other side. And it's a very, very small little bullet journal bullet pages in there and it's by this is make2d.com okay and then we had an eraser by Koinor so there's a green one we had various pens um, one of my favorites the Enagel liquid gel ink the metal tip that was a nice sort of dark gray blue and then we had the purple. Um, <clears throat> what make is this? Oh yeah, it's Pentel as well. These are really nice writers, these. Got the black one. This is purple. And then we had the, the felt tip in the grey, which is a Pentel colour pen fibre point. And then we had the red. Well, it was a pinky red. Um, Oh, hybrid, dual metallic, um, and that's a like a metallic glitter pen. So that's what those look like there. And then we had the A5 postcard, which is kind of like an art print. Uh, we obviously colour it in. You can send it or put it in a frame. 
that's nice. And then we had the geometric notebook with this lovely design on the front. It's a black, very thick card. Um, and inside, there's all different sorts of pages. We've got plain, we've got large bullet dots, and there's some coloring in pages. There's grid. There's a smaller dot, a larger grid. So you get the idea, very mixed, that one. And that's by Story Graphic as well. So that is April Box. And then they. The theme was type, so there's lots of type graphical and typefaces in here. So postcards, we had a fisherman, a vase with flowers, two cute cats, and some birds, foliage again. And we have this lovely A5 journal with a soft touch cover. It's an A5 notebook. Um, it's obviously got uh, the underground, London Underground. Um, it's got red edges. You can see that there. And in the back, it's got the um, London Underground map. And that's a line journal. And the end pages have got that lovely uh, London Underground font, which it says is called the Johnston Sans Serif Type. So that's a really nice book. We also get um, a bookmark with the same font on it, Johnston Sans Serif Type. We've got um, a greetings card, which is in a landscape with a picture of um, a different um, wooden letters. And that's a spotlight stationery one as well. So it looks like they've branched out into creating their own um, products. And then we had three pens, or one, two pens and a pencil. So we had a pencil with um, some uh, typeface on it. it. Actually spells out the word pencil. We had a copper metallic pen. That's a Uniball Signo. And then we have a Pentel Stylo plastic fountain pen. I remember using these at school where it has this quill almost tip to it. And then that's, that's how they write. Let me see, I don't know if you can see the metallic there. It's a copper color. So that was May. Now we're gonna head into the next box, which is the last one, which hasn't been opened. And let's finish this up now. Okay. It's open. Okie doke. Okay, so the theme is cherry red. Lots of red and a little bit of blue. Okay. Let's look at the postcard. So we have another bird. We have um, some planets. A sloth. And some other cute animals. Okay, red, cherry red. So we have this lovely cherry fruit <laughs> um, journal. Um, I'm guessing that's where the theme came from. This is by Vent for Change. I think they are a company that, um, a sustainable company. So I recall something we had from them before. And it says on here, succeed, succeed. Uh, covers are made with sustainable paper mixed with 30% reclaimed cherry husk. 
produced with 100% green energy and it's lined and plain pages plus a little extra space for shopping and to-do lists. Um, that's the information if you're interested. So yeah that looks really nice, lovely. We have another notebook. This is a Sylvine or Sylvine notebook, 52 plain pages. Sustainably sourced paper. So that's a Sylvine original. I'm sure everyone's familiar with that one. They've been um, around for years. And something else read here. What have we got? Oh, right, okay. So we have two of these. I think there's a name for these. I can't remember what it is. But these little openings here. They're basically envelopes. I'm not quite sure what I'd use those for. There's the thing, there's no cards in here use with them. I'm not quite sure what I'm doing here. Do okay. So there's two of those. And then we have some pens and a pencil. So it looks like we have a double-ended pencil. And this one is a Koinor again, and it's blue and red. That's just a general pencil. It's quite an orangey red, actually. And then we have a Uniball Eye Fine Point in wine red. Right, okay. Yeah, that's a nice, rich berry tone. And finally, we have the Edding 1700 Vario Liner. Um, this looks like it might be red as well, yep. And that's more of a sort of scarlet red. So that's nice, it's actually quite a nice pen to hold. It's nice and thick there. Oops, and there's what those look like. So, that's that, let's check we've got everything. So we've got the, the Change Book, Sylvine Originals, Sylvine Originals book, the envelopes, string and washer envelopes, the correspondence and important documents, and then the pencil, the pens, and the postcards. So there we go, that was 12 months of spotlight stationery. Wow, I've got to put all this stuff somewhere now and <laughs> decide what I'm going to use. Um, brilliant. So here we go oh it's gonna fall over there we go so many boxes well i hope you enjoyed that i know i did um and yeah gonna have fun working out what i'm gonna do with these things um the next video should be similarly a 12 box um opening um unboxing rather of um paper gang i've got the name of it for the moment there um, paper gang boxes so again going back for 12 months um, so yeah if you're uh, if you're um, fascinated as me in these boxes keep um, subscribing keep watching keep liking and I really do appreciate your support and thanks for hanging around for a year for my video hope it's been worth it um, and yeah please just follow all the socials etc etc and I'll see you in the next one thanks very much for watching bye mm -hmm.